they they do have the problem with uh, cultural coagulation. Uh, but if you look at the immigration uh, makeup of Northern Ontario, particularly Thunder Bay and Sudbury, uh, we're already starting to see a change, a shift in traditionally you would have found uh, Italians, uh, Finnish people, uh, Polish, uh, Ukrainian, German, and you're seeing a lot more people from China, from India, from Vietnam, um, and, uh, and from Nepal. And that is already beginning to change the cultural makeup of, of the major centers in Northern Ontario, uh, as those other uh, older immigration populations begin to age out of the workplace. And the other half of that will be uh, encouraging young people to move home. And you're seeing that in Sault Ste. Marie, in particular, they're doing uh, a good job with, uh, with retaining their young people from leaving. Uh, Thunder Bay is doing a good job at having uh, local people coming home more and more often. Um, and so all of this will be sort of a tapestry uh, as they attempt to reach these numbers to replace the aging populations and retain uh, the size of the existing economies. Remember, if we don't do this, we're going to see economic contraction. Um, and that's and that's something that, that that's the reason this is on the front burner for Northern Ontario and something we will keep a close eye on. John Thompson, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you for bringing in uh, some major issues and topics during this election. Mm -hmm.